Hi, this is Marcy White at Copley Acupuncture, and I just wanted to talk briefly today about restless leg syndrome. This is a very debilitating and annoying problem. It affects about 10% of the US population, and if you've ever had this before, you know how irritating it is, especially because it happens predominantly at night when you're trying to fall asleep. So restless leg syndrome, it's classified as a sleep disorder and it does have a circadian rhythm. So it's predominantly happening in the evening. It can happen in the early evening, right before you're trying to fall asleep, or it can wake you up at night. And then it usually resolves by morning time. So there's a lot of underlying conditions that could be related to or causing the restless leg syndrome. So when I have a patient come in with this, I always want to see if we can get to the root of the problem and go over a whole health assessment and see what else could be contributing to the problem. So about 92% of people that have this have a first degree relative that also has restless leg syndrome. So there is a strong genetic component to this. It can also be caused by underlying diseases like Parkinson's or diabetes or hypothyroidism. It can happen in depression. It also can be caused by medications or low iron in the brain. So it's always worth evaluating and ruling out some of these issues um, and you would want to address those to see if that would help with um, resolving or at least reducing this condition. So one of the mechanisms of what's happening in restless leg syndromes is that it's coming from an area called the basal ganglia, which depends on dopamine. And dopamine helps with smooth muscle movements and contraction. And so dopamine is made in cells that reside in a region of your brain called the substantia nigra. So when we're doing acupuncture and when I do my treatments, what I focus on is what's called neuromodulation. So trying to help the areas of the brain, the substantia nigra and the basal ganglia to work better. And so we have ways of doing that by doing acupuncture, specifically electroacupuncture on the scalp and on the ear where there are nerves that feed directly into these regions of the brain. So we want to retrain or neuromodulate the brain and the areas that depend on and make dopamine. So that's one of the main ways that we address this with acupuncture. But I just wanted to also mention very briefly a kind of a quick fix and something that you can do at home if you find yourself really suffering or having a hard time falling asleep, you can use yellow mustard. So yellow mustard is kind of a, a quick fix home remedy. You can take one to two teaspoons of yellow mustard and try that. And often that can stop the um, restless legs in their tracks. And the reason why is there's something called acetic acid in yellow mustard, which makes acetylcholine. And acetylcholine helps with smooth muscle contraction. So um, next time you're having a, a bad episode or even a mild episode, you can try this. And again, it's not going to solve the problem, but always good to have in your toolbox. And I appreciate you watching my video. I'll have some more great videos coming up on some other health topics. If you have anything that's interesting to you, please feel free to contact me and I'm happy to um, talk about it. Thank you so much.